Hey, what's going on everybody? Richie Plemons with Plemons Lawn and Landscape. Take a quick uh, minute here, give you a couple tips on load securement and what uh, what we find to be the biggest problems uh, in our area, maybe in your area as well, and the most heavily ticketed issues that they run into. Uh, most of the time, landscape companies either have damaged uh, securement systems, which means one of your straps is frayed or, or or to the point that it, uh, you know, damaged it, uh, that it no longer meets the requirements of, uh, of securement for the weight and everything. So, or loose and unfastened tie downs. Loose and unfastened tie downs is one of the other big problems that the DOT will hit you for around here. And then uh, you also have uh, improper securement of heavy equipment. So, I mean, those those three things are, are three big major tickets here in the state of Georgia. Uh, they may be where you're at. You need to check your local laws and regulations and make sure that, uh, that uh, you're, you meet or exceed those expectations that the Department of Transportation expects out of you. So I'm going to take a quick tip or a quick uh, second here, show you how we strap our mower down and the proper way to strap them down. Load securement is not about holding the mower from moving around on the trailer. Load securement is meant um, mostly also for if you're in an accident and you turn your trailer over, it's meant to hold the equipment on the trailer in, in case of an accident. So let's take a quick second here, show you how we strap our mowers down and give you an idea of the way we do it and maybe you guys can uh, use that uh, to your advantage and, and kind of start implementing the, some of the same uh, ideas that we have. Okay, so on our mowers we use a strap system that goes around the tire. We put this uh, hooks into an e-track system here on the front, comes around the tire, and then hooks to an e-track system here on the back. So I'll show you how we uh, strap those up real quick and uh, you guys can see how we do it. Alright, so now we get the mower strapped down and uh, and it's secured and ready to, to go on to the next yard. I'll show you real quick how we do it. And you can see that the strap just attaches to that e-track system down here on the bottom. Clips in and then it also straps into another e-track system there. So and then comes right over the top of the tire and you just tighten it down. It's, it's pretty simple, it doesn't take but just a second to do. We put two straps, one on each tire, and you need four points of contact at all times. Uh, when you're transporting uh, equipment, they want at least uh, two straps with four points of contact to make sure that it's properly strapped down. So anyway, you can pick those up at a lot of different places. These are from Cabela's. Um, these are relatively inexpensive. You can buy a set of them for, I think, $25, $30. Uh, there's some other companies that make them. Green Touch actually makes them as well. Uh, they make a fast strap, fast strap system. So, and we've actually got a set of those on the way. So we're pretty excited to get those. Compare those to these Cabela straps that uh, that we picked up a few years ago and and got put on. So, but anyway, guys, if you hadn't checked out EchoMeansBusiness.com, do that now. Make sure you get become a part of it, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.